Good afternoon, my name is Chilapu7, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Y Classic Lock. In the last episode, we were about to exit Parfum Palace, captured a Generation 1 Pokemon, Oddish, on Route 6, and we caught another Generation 1 Pokemon, Snorlax, and it was a close call too. Unfortunately, right after I catch Right after I caught Snorlax, we got a. I got interrupted by a phone call, which is something important. So I had a. I had to end it very soon. Can't can't ignore what the boss is calling, huh? Oh, and speaking about that, I was actually recording my last two episodes in the work area. Well, currently we are still taking a break, but it was actually a very risky thing for me to do because. When you're at work and you're taking a break, you don't know if the boss needs you right away or not. And it's unpredictable, which might lead to some cutoff, which, are ve which will be very severe. And unfortunately, I can't even show the dialogue right after I caught Snorlax, but what, it, what the dialogue is about is um, right after I caught Snorlax, the person from the Parfume Palace with his fur fro complimented the guy playing the pokey flute saying it was a beautiful song that it has been on ages like even comparable to the fireworks being displayed last episode that pokey flute is um just as just as good as the things would be <clears throat> all right so what's it gonna be oh hey lovey trevor trav said he wants to check out the pokemon daycare come with us okay we're going to do that Ah, the daycare. They take Pokemon. They take care of Pokemon for you here. You can leave up to two Pokemon here at once. One of them I'll be leaving a ditto. I said remember something good can happen if you leave two Pokemon here. It's a Pokemon egg. A Pokemon will emerge from it. Well, Pokemon can come out. Maybe I'll leave some Pokemon here. Yeah, I'll have my Talon Flame with my Flame Body with the Hidden Machine Fly. Um, yeah, some other time. There aren't many Pokemon I want to raise, I'll try it on some other occasion. Yeah, I agree with you. Okay. Hey, wait, Tierra, wait up. Alright, so we're not going to use the Pokemon Daycare because that's going to be overleveling my Pokemon. Okay, so we're going to progress through the, the route there. And I believe there's going to be a rival battle coming up soon. So I better turn on the battle animations. And do I need to heal my team? Let me check. Um, oh wow, yeah, we, our team is fully healed, and let's check what our Snorlax has last episode. It is a Jolly Nature. Not the best ability, and a 10% increase of a speed stat. Probably won't help much. And it's gonna have Tackle, Amnesia, Defense Crow, and Lick. So yeah, even if it wasn't the, even if it isn't the best nature, it still has a pretty good attack and special defense, because it's naturally good at it. And it's HP, I think it's a very bad IVs. I've seen higher HPs from Snorlax before, but this is just bad. Oh well, but we're not. I'm not supposed to be worrying about IVs and EVs because we're supposed to play the game casually as if... We're gonna play, I'm gonna play the game as if I have no clue what EVs and IVs are. Just pretend that I have no clue. And what is it gonna be? Oh, the Battle Shot 2. So, about Battle Shot 2... It's a place where you can battle any trainers you like and it's also a big source of grinding too because some of them, some of the trainers might carry Aldinos. Oh yeah, it might carry Aldinos. You're gonna get boatloads of experience and I like it so much. Oh snap. Serena, what are you doing? I wasn't prepared. If y'all don't mind, I'd like to have a Pokemon battle with everyone. Now, who sh how should we pair up? Hmm, let's go with Tierno and Trevor versus me and Serena. Okay, let's do that. Okay, since we're neighbors, we might as well battle together, right? Okay, we're gonna have a double battle. Challenged by Pokemon Trainer Tierno and Trevor. I'm gonna send out Corpish and you have a Pikachu also. And I have a Pikachu as well. You have a Fletchling. <laughs> gonna get struck by Thundershock. And you should have evolved. You should have evolved your your um, fletchling by now. Okay, so I'm gonna use Thundershock on Corpish. And you're gonna use it on. You're gonna use it on Pikachu. Not bad. And it's a secure two-hit KO. And Thundershock's gonna be on Fletchling. And you avoided the two-hit KO. So wow, you're fairly bulky. Sword Stance. 
Oh wow, we gotta shut this down quickly. Oh god. <clears throat> I'll be angry if you had Aqua Jet. No, you don't. You can use Quick Attack against me, but I'm bulky. Oh, come on. Is that the best you can do, Fletchling? Should have let me finish it off with. How am I. How is Fletchling. How is a paralyzed Fletchling faster than my Pikachu? I have no idea. What? Oh, you might have Gale Wings. Yeah, that Fletchling might have Gale Wings. But Serena doesn't own a Fletchling, so how. I don't understand. Serena owns a Fletchling, but it didn't show up at the post game content. As if as if it's gonna help you much. <laughs> okay, we're gonna use quick attack again and we're gonna slowly whittle it down. Oh there's a crit! And we're gonna take it pretty well. Wow, all three of us is using quick attack. Another crit! <laughs> Dang, Arceus, you're giving me the luck here. Thank you very much. And you got Flabebe. Do I have anything to hit Flabebe hard? Let me check. You got a physical attack or something? Let me check. I got... Wow, well, I gotta use Pidgey. Gotta use Pidgey. Oh, my Pidgey is about to evolve soon. It's gonna evolve at 18. Wow. It's gonna go um, straight on to Pidgey. Oh, and that sucks for you. Got the hacks. Okay, I thought you're a fire type fletchling. You do not resist. You do not resist fairy wind. Okay, and it's gonna hit it really hard, and still can't take it out yet. I thought fairy wind hits both opponents' side because, given the nature of the attack, and we took out for baby. Okay, we got some experience. We got level up to 18, which means Pidgey is gonna evolve right in this episode. Yes! Whoa, now that was a nice move. So you can't learn everything just from the Pokedex, I see. You have to test it out. Trial and error. Anyways, we're gonna watch Pidgey evolve, and it's gonna be amazing. At least there's at least I wish I had a speed up button. Oh, and did you also know that Pidgeot has a um, stat update? So instead of a 91 base speed, it has 101 base speed, which means it can outspeed Star Raptor and any other base 100s that you can come up with. But unfortunately, the offensive stat still sucks. So Pidgeot can't do much, unfortunately. But we're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see to it. It's just me thinking about Pidgeot, and I'm gonna um, EV train in my X copy. I'm sure it's interesting to see how different each trainer's style is. Well, I guess I should head to Ambrete Town then. Yep, that's what we're all heading, and what do you say? Oh, it, win or lose, either way, you gotta smile. If your Pokemon sees you getting down in the dumps, they might be less confident. I agree with you. You gotta keep smiling, even though you're in the brink of destruction, you gotta do your best. And I'm gonna check Pidgey's, Pidgeotto's stats. What is it? Oh, it's a Mayo Nature, so yeah. Stats are slightly improved. That's what I like to see. Okay, so we're gonna go to... Not here, because it's gonna get blocked. Uh, okay, yeah, these cuts are optional, though. Alright, so we're gonna go and catch a Pokemon in Zubat Roost, and I'm pretty sure there's a Zubat in there, because there's no denying it. But how about let's just heal our team first, because that's important, because if, 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 if any of my Pokemon faints, it is dead. Okay, so what's it gonna be? It's gonna be... Nope. Not this one. Come on, Zubat. I know you're in here. Stop hiding from... Stop hiding from us. I don't think I can get any wild Pokemon easily with the roller skates. Oh, yeah, might be about the same. Might be about the same thing. But I actually wondered if using the roller roller skates will increase the chance of encountering wild Pokemon, just like the bicycle. But yeah. Anyways, we're gonna paralyze the Zubat. 
And Zubat, it's slowed down. Oh, you got parahaxed. Nice. Okay, we're gonna use Quick Attack, and we got another female Zubat here, so I know who to nickname. And it's gonna be another one from the Pokemon Conquest characters. Okay, we're gonna use it again. Gonna whittle it down to red health, red, red health unless, unless it landed a critical hit. Try to restore your health. That ain't much. Oh, wow. Oh, I don't know if I can make it into the red health bar. Well, we gotta try it. And please, no crit, no crit. Okay, good. I think, uh, I think a single Pokeball should do it. So let's try it. Oh yeah, and I just found it in my bag. There's a net ball, but we can't use that. So far, haven't encountered a critical capture yet. Yes, and we have another flying type Pokemon. So in case Pidgeotto is KO'd, which I hope not, then we gotta use Zubat as a replacement. And Zubat, its final evolutionary form is super fast. Based 130 speed. It's like it's like Mewtwo's um speed stat. Anyways, we're gonna nickname Zubat in a uh, one Pokemon con Pokemon Conquest character called um called Nene. If you don't know if you don't know who she is, she is a one she is a character from the Samurai Warrior series and the first time I heard about her name was from Pokemon Conquest, and then not only I looked at the information about Pokemon Conquest, but I watched, inf I looked at information about, about um, about what is it? About Samurai Warrior series. And we got to turn off the battle animations because that's all we need to show. And let's just hope we can get through the um, next route. Oh, it's raining too. Stop right there. Uh oh. Who's there? Oh. You two! <laughs> we didn't mean to surprise you. How are you and Pikachu doing? Haven't you wondered how a single Pokedex could possibly cover a region as big as Kalos? Well, it can't. That's why we're here to power up your Pokedex. We got the Coastal Kalos Pokedex. Um, another section. So tap to select it. New encounters help people in Pokemon grow and mature. We'll be taking our leave now. Bon voyage. We'll see you later. And it's raining too. Oh yeah, let me check the nature of Zubat because I'm I'm afraid. Let's see. You're a careful nature. Okay. That's kinda okay, but I can't I'll just not have to use special attacks. And it's a level 14, so yeah, its HP is pretty bad unfortunately, but oh well, what can we do? And we need to attach a suit belt. Actually wait, no, we can't evolve. Oh that sucks, doesn't it? I can't evolve Zubat to I can't evolve go back to a Crobat because that'll be a Gen 2 Pokemon. Oh no, Zubat, why? It's gonna be it's gonna be stuck into a regular Golbat. Which kinda sucks, by the way. I really want it oh come on. Okay, so I'm pretty sure Route 8 you can't find a Generation 1 Pokemon here. So, scrubs. Wingo, why? Oh, and speaking about that, there's one YouTuber who doesn't like Wingles. If you if you know who I'm talking about, then you get the picture. Oh shoot, we are running out of time though. I don't think I I don't think I can make it to the next route without dodging trainers here. You know what? I'm gonna leave this for another time. So I'm gonna end it off here. Um, what we did in this episode is we progressed through. Well, okay, all we did was battle Serena, I mean not battle Serena, battle the two rivals with Serena, so that's like one thing done. And we're 14 minutes on the clock, we might, we might run out of time. Oh, did I just mess up again? You know what? I'm gonna stop here, I'm gonna take a break because I just recorded my third episode today, on the same day. Yeah, so that's gonna be it for today, in this sad, rainy moment of doom I guess <laughs> uh, anyways thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time have a great day